Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here with what they said. When we left off... Huh? Sakura. Sakura's? Yes. Sakura's? She can't bring us up sight, can she? Dead? No, she can. She's... really dead? Yeah. Yep. Sakura has passed away, unfortunately. <coughs> Didn't make it in time. It's happened again. <coughs> Pardon me. Coughing at the worst possible time. She's confirming that Sakura really was dead, checking for a pulse or a reaction. And Hina's. I have to get. So overfilled with emotion that she has to do something that requires no emotion or, yeah. Why? Why did this have to happen? I think we know why. I. I need to examine Sakura's body, yes. So there, while she checked the corpse. Time passed. Unable to do a thing, time just passed. This one sucks. This is probably the worst one out of all of them. Four reasons. And after I don't know how long, I got everyone. What? Just really? Even now you're saying that? Come on. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, and you, your, your reaction I expect, because yeah. I see. And your yeah, okay, re re yours I expect as well. Yeah, okay, begin. You heard the announcement, so you know what this means. <laughs> Interesting. By someone in this very room. Correct. So? <laughs> Is that what you're going huh? to say? No. Whoever. It's not just someone in this it's room. Your fault. Hiro, Byakuya, or Toko. Oh, so you're not. Assuming it's any of us three. Oh, okay. Because those were the three who were saying she was. couldn't trust her yet. What? Accusing us before we even begin the investigation. Okay, this is. I think this may be the third time she's done this. Where she's like, no, we know who it is. Hina, have you not learned yet? I no. Forgive you. You're always wrong when you do this. You know it. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Your power will increase by getting mad. What the heck? Really? Come on. The, yeah, the Monokuma file. Because we need this information. It's very important, yes. Don't get so mad or you're going to ruin that lewd little face of yours. Even you're saying it's lewd. With that, I... Hold on. Something I want to ask you. What? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura? No. <clears throat> huh? Want to challenge a mastermind to a duel? Maybe you and her fought again and then... And I killed her? Not quite. Actually, not even close. That whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Thank God it's hitting trial I have to go through that little fight. I would have been no pain to take. Wow. Hey, but um... you explode. Pretty worried. She violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. Wow. So I don't know who it was. But whoever the black in this time is, I owe you one. Wow. What is this? Wow, Monokuma. You're just fucking with them so much. <laughs> Pissy potty. You better figure out who did it first. Your lives are on the line. <laughs> what is this? Because they, you know exactly what you mean. Forgive you. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> Glad it was. Wow, Byakuya! Fuck off. <laughs> okay, be angry. Whoever killed Sakura. Anyway, our priority needs to be covering Sakura's killer. If we can do that, if we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Well, let's decide who will stand guard this time. You'll do it. Yeah, because everyone who stood guard. Yeah, Hina, I'm okay. Just let me handle it. I want to be here with her. That's fine. He has got number one, but we need one more. Kyoko. What? Kyoko. She probably would be this. She probably would be the toughest. After Hina. <laughs> You're always the one on my side. It's time to stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an okay. I'm going to assume that's going to mean Kyoko will refuse to do so. An order. That's fine. Oh wow. You'll probably want to stay here and investigate this thing at least. Yeah. <laughs> Settled. Hold on. There's something I want to say. 
None of you are allowed to set foot in the crime scene. It's your fault. One of you killed her. Why won't let someone like that come anywhere near her? <laughs> we have every right to investigate. Don't get what you said, I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. It means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Okay then. It's all clear now. Just me. <laughs> Why are you out of all people? You're both useless. Don't really care. Spend time. Oh man. You are just <laughs> relentless. Do you really object? Um, Gonna go far. I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? All clear. Then it's decided. Nothing's decided. Down. But you should agree to his request. But hey. we have to find out who killed Sakura. Right. For those of us still alive, and to honor Sakura's memory. I guess it's. You know what? You absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> really? You th say dead bodies are filthy? Your obsession with it all? We need to focus. You said who, who would want to touch a filthy dead body? Yeah, you fucking manhandled Chihiro with zero respect. You used her dead body for your sick fucking game that nearly got everyone killed. Go fuck yourself, Byakuya. You're such a cunt. Seriously. Mm. We can't uncover the kill all of us face it. Yes, we know that. Not a matter of hoping we can do it. We want to survive. We have to do it. It's kind of hopeless hope. Have no choice but to do it. Yes. Correct. The way they're talking about this time. Uh, pardon me. Check the Monokuma file for anything else. <laughs> Victim was Sakura Ogami. Time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. Body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the discovered. Evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. Seems at some point the victim suffered from violent, violent vomiting of blood. Okay. The word discovered is important, just because I believe they used the word discovered for case number two. So the body's been moved. At least that seems to be an implication. I believe they said discovered for Shihiro. Hey. Okay, this time might be a challenge. So... Then I went to the rec room is the door we just came through, and the door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room, which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. The door's locked on the inside, and there, and there was no way in and out until we broke the window. There's zero in escape. Words. This is a classic locked room murder. Okay, I'm not familiar. Locked room murder? What? But it could really have... Hey. Here's here. Uh, yes. That's fine. Breakdowns kind of murder. There are four basic types. First is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. Simply means killer commits his crime, then goes through some special method to seal, um, through some special method seals the room. Involves some kind of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic, okay, string or simple mechanism, number of variations. We have to check the door and see if anything, if, when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. In other words. Kill each special contraption or tool from the outside to target the victim inside. Push switch and fires handgun, shoot arrows, rig up, or something like However, that. However. In this case, that doesn't make sense yet, and her body's, her body's just a, a blunt head blow to the head, which seems to be a common theme in this game. Like, seriously, the people who are committing the murders in this game are very uncreative. Like, I was expecting more. I think we could probably cross someone off this. But killer stays in the room until it's opened. In other words... Stay hidden when the door is open, they use a confusion to blend in with the group. Tend to show up along with everyone else, and that's that. That would have to confirm with Hina if she actually saw everyone run up with it's us. True. Well, when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. In other words. I mean, there's actually alternate escape route somewhere within the room, but it's really not possible. Indeed. I believe so. Yes. Comes locked. Those are the basics and four possibilities, it's which seems true. most likely. I'm sure that should be our primary focus during the trial, but right now I can't say. Kill us at the locked room until I figure that. Shoot behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. Definitely a tough mystery. Need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can for Sakura, if nothing else. Well, I, the first order of business is obviously I'm looking at Sakura's body. Last, um, drew her last breath, slitting slumped in this chair. Obvious evidence of a blow to the head. Wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her, but according to Monokuma, she also had also vomited blood and traces of blood there. Monokuma said she couldn't. They um, said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Yes. Uh, maybe getting some of her to start vomiting blood. <clears throat> no, that doesn't make that's sense. That's fine. <clears throat> Most interesting location. Naturally. Most interesting. What are you referring to? <laughs> it has to be connected to why she died. Well, what's this slip of paper down here? Some kind of wrapper. Do you recognize no. it? I gave it to her. It's a candy wrapper. 
She got it. Ah, uh, I can't. Candy. Oh. So you took candy to, back to your room. And then you gave her a candy. Poker dot candy wrapper. Okay. What about this red shit? Is this. It's not blood. Oh, shards of glass. Okay, so it's a light bulb of sorts. Or a, a, based on the shape of it, it looks not like a light bulb, but a siren. And for fuck's sakes, phone, I turned you to silent. God damn it. My phone unsilented itself. Give me a second while I fucking unsilent it. There we go. All unsilent. Glass is all red and top and bottom. Uh, say, oh, of a bottle. Oh. I assumed it was a light because, and it looked like it would screw in there, and because it's round, I assumed it was some kind of siren. But okay, if it's a bottle, then yeah, okay. It's actually been a bottle. Child, it's a glass on the floor. Something else on the ground. A little monokuma figure. That's <laughs> peculiar, to say the least. Um, okay, so there's some blood over here. Pardon me. Yeah, that would... She threw up there and then made her way over to there. Oh wow, there's a lot. Check out. This is open. And on the inside is a handprint. That would imply that someone was in there and then busted their way out when people walked in here. It's yeah. true. It looks quite fresh. Someone who was hiding in lock and they, yeah, kill a hidden hand until the locked room was open. And during the fusion, yeah. they popped out. Hey. Oh, I know. We we looked inside the room. Oh the. The locker was already open. I didn't even notice that because I wasn't looking for it. Indeed. No, it's not going to hit until we, after we open the door. Why would there be handprints? Hey, look, those red bottles that are on the ground are right here, and they've got the monochrome figures inside of them. Oh, they're all chess pieces. I figured so, because there was a horse on the ground. Well, they 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 so... built them around it. Yeah, standing so ship in a bottle. You build it. Yeah. Maybe. In other words. <laughs> Monokuma bottle. That's just weird. Start to make sense of things little by little. Sitting on the shelf. Found on the ground and that. Sekiro was hit on the head with a Monokuma bottle. Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Okay. Well, it's the actual magazine stand itself. Is this important? All different kinds of magazines. Nothing important there. But it was there. No, nothing else there. Um, just check and see if there's anything over here. Oh! There's a giant kerfuffle over here. Look at this shit. Didn't even notice this. Um, oh, protein zyme! So... And an empty protein drink. Everyone knows you. And, and pro, pro, was yeah. cure for... I know. <laughs> this protein can. It says chem A2. Had the chemlight all kind of health stuff, so she must have gotten a second. Milk. That's strange. What? Hey. Sit around the can. Glass. Correct. Yeah. Scattered around it. They're also underneath it, which means they wouldn't have gone there until afterwards. So. I feel like it's going to be an important clue later on. Well, that means that it wouldn't be just from when you broke it. Some of it already had to be under the underneath beforehand. But was there. Yeah, the chair was something as well. Chair. Oh, so that was the chair that was shoved up against it. No. No reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Okay, well then let's talk to these two and then we'll talk to Byakuya. I think because Byakuya is probably going to be leaving. Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. And she certainly didn't. She was the ultimate martial artist strong in body, mind and spirit. How was the killer able to get an upper hand on her? You're right. It makes no sense. So I'm mistaken as by surprise. Expected to stand any chance against her. Hina, what have you got to say? What the heck? <clears throat> oh. you. Well, that doesn't mean we know who did it. Without finding out more. Then Sakura asked all three to meet with her, you know. Um, where right wait. Sakura asked all three When did that happen? Eventually she went off on her own. When I saw her again, she told me she left a note for each of them to meet her in the rec room by noon. Oh. And then I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. Not to worry that she just wants to talk to them. By full uh, don't blame yourself. Impossible not to have regrets, I know. 
Uh, the fact that she asked those three to meet with her, she asked them to come to the rec room at noon. Same place, she ended up dying. Might be to confirm what I heard. Might be good to confirm what I heard with Therese directly, yes. Uh, any of them? No, the other two must be outside of the room. Because they were told not to enter the scene, yeah. What? Yuck, yeah, sup? You told me to, like, help you. I'm, I'm gonna have a drink while they talk. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, quick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Don't worry, guys, it's water this time. <laughs> and I'm not lying. So you found that interesting. <clears throat> then it's true. Did you receive a note to that effect? Yes. Whoa, shit's knocking off the table. I cannot manage anything that I'm holding, even slightly. Ah, that's, all, that's awkward. Risk of being killed by... See, we didn't go see her. Of course not, I ripped the note and true. Uh, I haven't seen Sakura or, at all today. Well, it's like, I have no choice. Come on. You shouldn't accept it as fact, just keep it in mind. Remove yourself from sight. What an asshole. So am I done here? I think I'm done. Door doesn't have a lock, no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with is the smash window. Which happened when you broke it. No evidence any kind of shingle mechanism was used on door. In other words, don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. There's no doubt there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply was simply because the chair was shoved against it. Kept the door not from turning and the door from opening. No evidence of the bottle or chair being tampered with or anything like that. Killer must create the locker room from the inside, not from the outside. Yes, correct. Listen. Have you finished your general investigation? For the so most part. Then. Probably gotta talk to people now. I'm on guard duty, so Listen I can't leave. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. <laughs> she's gotten a lot more pushy. pushy. No, nah, she's always kind of been like that. Went to meet the two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Okay. Well, I'm out of here then. Oh. You're not letting me. Do no, I just have to... I have to press circle to leave, because investigating the door doesn't work. Probably went back to their rooms. Oh, thank goodness you teleported me down here. Alright, so Toko's one next to mine, and Hero's all the way at the end. Okay. Toko! How? That's Sayaka, sorry. I got Sayaka and Toko mixed up for a second. Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> After a few seconds, who's going to be to open the door? Oh, it's Toko. You went back again. Who's who's there? It's me. Most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. What do you want? I want to ask you something. So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. You don't have to talk like that, Makoto. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. Fair enough. I was in such a good mood too. <laughs> she didn't look like it. Hey, didn't. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? It's kind of important. <laughs> Obviously, no way she slid it out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk with me about something? Yes. Talk about fat head ass to meet with you. What? Well. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Sure. Bianca already told me she asked to meet with him. <laughs> she wanted to meet with Master too? Calm oh, <clears throat> I just said two, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> now, yeah. Tell me. <laughs> Did get the note, but I didn't see how yet. I couldn't bring myself to go. Well, prove otherwise. No choice for the Santa's facts. Is that good enough? I'm going back to my room. All right then. And hero. What about you? Are you? What happens if I try and go into Sakura's room? Does that do anything? It just—it's just dot dot dot. Probably does that for everyone who's dead, actually. Like, let's check this. No point. Oh, okay. No, it may be just Sakura's room. Hero! Talk to me. Ding dong. After a few seconds. Hello? What's up? Did you need something? What? How'd you know about that? Okay, so, no, because I was told. Uh, um... Other than when she asked me, yeah. Stop saying that, Byakuya and Taika, yeah. What? What? Well, uh, um... she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh, yeah, no, she sure. And then... She happened to mention the others. I'm passing. The I can't tell if this is suspicious or he's just an idiot. Because they both are very likely. Super suspicious. Then he went, what's the hell? Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely Actually. suspicious. Last time I saw, stop saying that, was when Hina got hurt and I took her to nurse. Don't office. look at me. I haven't seen her since. Well, I mean, did you show me the note she gave you? Um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hey, come on. Looks like I don't have it anymore. To be fair, he does lose shit all the time. He lost the note. From the previous case, and that turned out to be a real note that actually existed. We just never saw it. Big of you, he pulled it. Okay. 
Oh, candy wrapper. What? Eh, uh, I'm jumping back into his pocket. Hey, come on. Bit of trash I've got to throw out. What? What? Okay, but I never went. So if you look, why are you? But there's no way that was all there was to it. <clears throat> okay, pocket trash. Right, and what next? I look into the actual crime on top of that. Find out about the protein can there. Okay. We're going to go to the chem lab. Which I believe is 4th floor. I forget the best way to go through these to get to the 4th floor. Neither way seems to be the most helpful. Alright, so right here. Hallway stairs. Okay, chem lab. Oh, it's right here. That was super simple and easy. I'm going to have another drink. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Thirsty all the time. <laughs> Did you have to? Y yes. Just make sure you can't. Yes, sir. I understand. No. I like how he doesn't even say that. Hey! I wonder what all this shit on the floor is. The first time I said it, but I can't get how big it is. It's almost like there's a bunch of fallen shit to the ground. Oh, it looks like a liquid, but uh, powder makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at it. Yo, what's this? Broken bottle, wonder all the powder can- Hey, I wonder if it's poison with the skull and crossbones on it. Chem C4, like explosives or- Hmm. Uh, checking and the room wasn't like this. Powder oh, must have spilled. In other words. Did I only mean around time the answer? Must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder. Oh wow, you want me to look at the powder itself and the footsteps as well. But okay, better not step in it. Well, there's footsteps. No, only in front of that hmm. shelf. How do the how do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. Hmm. Oh wait, do you mean how kind of you to offer? <laughs> wow. Okay. A sketch of the room. Wow, your your drawing is shitty. Not bad for you. Wow. I see. When you look at it like this, interesting. Peter, that whoever left those footprints only had business at the left, my shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, and what the footprints tell me. Is there a reason you need to draw up a sketch of the room for this? It's certainly possible. Are the possible? No. What? Let me see your shoes and I'll confirm the size. Hmm. See, your feet do appear to be. Oh, too big. Oh, they looked really big footprints on the ground. Must admit, these are not your footprints, unfortunately. Hmm. But it, it quite determined who they do belong to. Yeah. Probably take a good, hard look at the powder. A bunch of yellow powder scattered on the front shelf. Also remains a broken bottle. Looks like the bottle's labeled Chem 4. And some footprints left. Do I need. Uh. Yeah, they only went to the left side. We fucking get it. Like, Jesus Christ. You're really hammering that point. Uh, yeah, I have to be around to the time. That's all I can say for now. Uh, just repeating yourself so often. Jesus. Okay. What's on this shelf? All kinds of dietary supplements and different things. Right, came from this shelf. And all like all uh, labeled the letter A and a number. Yeah. But that one said... Oh, there's an O. Oh. So some bottles have been mixed around. That one said C4. I think it said A2 on the one that was in the rec room. Bunch of chemicals. Reagents. Ah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Isn't that kind of harsh? Think something in science and mathematics is no practical application in the real world? No, they have tons. In fact, all. That's fine. Words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. Uh, I ain't focused on the shelf. Labels with letter B and a number. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Don't have to worry too much about that. But what about C? A bunch of C. I don't see anything out of place. Poison it. Got to say a number. Should try and find what looks like. Yeah. Dash B as reagent, C as lethal chemicals. Section A. There was a bottle with a label from section C. Supposed to be a bottle of section C. Doing section A. Definitely something going on here. Game lab shelf. Taking a good look at it. Maybe we should have a look at another look at the rec room. Okay, let's go back to the rec room. Um, well, rec room is third floor. Yes. Oh, that's not what I meant. How do I teleport? How do I teleport? I forgot how to tell. Guys, I forgot how to teleport. Guys. Have I not finished investigating this area? Oh, cause... Right, cause I was in that. I forgot that this wasn't just the record. Now it'll probably let me do it. <clears throat> I was confused for a second. Yeah, now it'll let me do it, yeah. Cause I was in something, I was in an in thing. 
so it wouldn't let me do it. Okay, back to the rec room, where all the most exciting shit in this game appears to happen. So, hey. how's your investigation going? I yep. On the back here, the best claim they didn't go see her. It's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. I wonder who anyway. it could be. I wonder if it's a suspicious guy. Find progress of your own. Shelf magazines and the monochrome bottles. Three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. Okay, let's look at her body first, I guess. Just a second. So, staring off into space isn't gonna help you. Well, yeah, hey. no, but don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? <sighs> no getting around it. <sighs> Didn't recall the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. I've grown perversely used to. Still, sometimes. Can't believe I can't go. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't it's get used true. to it. That's totally normal. Then how can so... you? Because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. So, hey. never mind. <laughs> More importantly, look here. Hey, it's the chemical. Correct. Yellow powder? Yeah. Thins out. There's clue number one. It's almost like it's the same colour hey. as the one that's up there. The one next to her sure. head. So it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let me explain. Seem... She didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Indeed. Wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Both of her hands were spotless. Absolutely no trace of blood it's on true. either. That's what you've learned from examining her body. Just by looking at... Don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Like her ultimate ability or something. Has something very, very to do with that. I've worked it out what it is. So. I think Kyoko said she found a nuclear involved in the monochrome bottles. That there's two bottles missing? Hey. <clears throat> there's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pete. Yeah, it's chess sets. And there's two bottles missing, not one, that we found on the ground. They're chess. Can you... No. <laughs> I don't mind guiding you, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Yes, that's a very good idea. Thank you, Kyoko, for being scientific about this. So then um, everyone can have confidence in the outcome. Not just so you don't trust me, right? No answer. <laughs> I do trust you to a degree, otherwise I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? Well, it's because you fucking wouldn't tell her the truth and you lied to her hey. over something that didn't make sense to. You. One other thing about Monokuma Boyle that's bothering me. Uh, you don't mind help an experiment. Anyway. All the pieces are... That doesn't uh, matter. We're done for so he it's fine. And they have Noxious so here, bad. so... <laughs> even you're saying that it's Noxious. I need to get something from the kiln level. I'm going to try to gather up all the glass. Okay. And collected all the pieces. And just finished up. Sorry to keep you so waiting. Then, Everything ready? Let's get to work. In other words. Got to scale from the we're going to compare weights. <laughs> Piece of glass you collected in the monochrome bottles that's still intact. Well you wanna see if there's one or two bottles in the glass that's on the ground. Listen. Compare the weight to normal monochrome bottles. They're the same, despite the pieces in, in the other words. Each monochrome bottle is about the same, which makes sense. Okay, so the same, nothing else could really affect the weight. Here comes the important part. And what my well, normal assumption would be, either balance out the pieces I collected will be lighter. Do you remember to get the most chance I could have so missed some here and there? Let's give it a try. Bun dun 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 dun. I mean, there is the bag, but the bag wouldn't affect that. Brick, how is that possible? Because there's more than one bottle. I knew it. Just as I thought. In other words. So, and the correlation between each bottle, put it all hey. together. I believe you'll arrive at one very persuasive um, conclusion. There was two bottles and two things hit her over the head. And someone took one of the figures. Like, for fuck's sakes, M Makoto. Like, I get the reason he doesn't say it. No, no, no. Oh, there was, yeah, there was a clue in the magazine. One of them's upside down. Uh, Koto ladies, I don't know. Hey. Something catches your eye, it's most important on the detail, yeah. Flips through it. And it just says Toko. Well then. A dying message. Here you found it. So... They had a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. Just However. like Sayaka. Uh, but just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. Put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come um... looking. Is that... That says Toko. It does. Should, uh, well, no, it hasn't been confirmed. Come on. Calm down. That's not conclusive evidence, even slightly. I see why you think that, but seems to makes me think much more suspicious. Magazine dying message. Oh wow, that was was that quick? That was really fucking quick. Like half an hour into the video. Bloody hell. Wow. Having a little drinky drink. He had caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring. I couldn't stay away. Oh, uh, oh, Monokuma. Is it okay? <laughs> 
can I? Can I? Can I? Can okay, I? maybe there's a bit more to go. Okay, then oh, let's okay. begin the class trial. You know where to meet. Oh, he was just like, oh god, this is boring. Through the red door on the first <clears throat> we'll do. floor of the school. Yep. <laughs> See you soon. All right, that was a really short investigation. All right, power through it. But the mystery of the Lord's room is certainly half solved. Whatever happens, we'll have to happen in the class trial. Whatever happens, I have to make something happen. He shouted that, and everyone heard him. Everyone thinks you're an idiot now. Go to the door fart. <laughs> Look how few people there are here. Jesus. <laughs> Ultimate Martial Artist! What is with the emo emoticons? A locked room murder mystery! Blank. What? What the... <laughs> I just recently discovered the power of emoticons! <gasps> like, the matter how awesome something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive. <laughs> We're at the picnic and you find a next body! Ah! <laughs> Joel's playing well? creepy. How about the reverse? Yeah. No matter how great something is, um, if you put a sad face, it makes it look super negative. For example, <laughs> do you have a hundred friends? <laughs> it does make it seem sad. Who's gone to the wait. elevator? Spooky face. This is just fucking goofy. Oh, God. he's fucking dancing. God damn. What the? What the fuck? What? Uh, I love it, but it's weird. And how does that come across? How does that come across in talking? I don't. Oh, Hina. Hina. D don't look at me. Oh, I don't think I'm acting casual. How dare you call me a murderer? What hmm. Whatever. If the way, truth will be revealed soon enough, because there can be no doubt one of us is the culprit. Killer, the one that murdered S Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I know, and yet someone killed her. Suspicious, ain't it? And that person is here? Person is one of us? <laughs> Question marks. Toko, let's talk to you first, because you're close to the elevator. How many times do I have to tell you? Okay. Hero. D don't look at me. Say before I say again, it wasn't me. Okay, Biakia, what have you got to say? <laughs> Corporate is one of us, make no mistake about that. Okay. Hina, what have you got to say? How can you stand and say you didn't do it without- Oh, Hina. So judgmental. Hey. Kyoko, what have you got to say? Saying he's going to do anything. Let's get going. Alright. Let's go. Come on, time for an end to this. Further, I can feel a chilling for trying to make- No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. <laughs> Climbed in the steel prison. And what? And watch it go down, 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 down to the bottom of the bed thing. Kyoko's hair is so fucking purple in these pictures, but it's like almost grey in this descended 2D art. All too familiar, fell lower and lower, and suddenly, as always, ping. Is it gonna be blue? What color? Do they all change colors? They do. Oh wow, this is. This is ornate as fuck. What's with all the Egyptian stuff? He must be lonely. Say it like it's not your fault. The class trial end with one less classmate, or we got school life come to an end completely. You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. Okay. Deadly judgment. Deadly deception. Deadly betrayal. Deadly brutal. Deadly defense. Deadly faith. Deadly class trial.